sponsors and also the huge support that we get from Mark and Paul and everyone who's kind of involved in the Alchemist Cafe. Um, so thanks again. Please feel free to ask any questions. And again, Matt's Jam is here and you can follow them on Twitter. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Well, questions? Are there or not? No questions. Well, it seems. Yeah, how, how do you do that, that trick with the three cards? I can't see anyway. The three card trick. Three card okay. Trick. How do you do that? The, it's very, it, it's very good. Now it's one of my favorite tricks. Okay, it's very easy. Uh, I, I'll, I'll look for different color cards. Uh, I need one. Uh, this, a black one and two, 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 a two and a three. I need a three. Okay. So I'll. I'll explain you. This is permutations mainly. Yeah, they are, in fact, they are transpositions. Here you have one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay. Well, I'll keep the one of the series, uh, and I'll work with the red one. I'll keep the black one there. So, uh, for instance, choose any one of them. Okay, ace. Ace. Okay. You turn the ace. Okay. Swap the positions of the other two and turn. So uh, what I did is different because I involved a permutation, another permutation, but later. Now the positions here should be three, two, one. Okay? If I deal three, two, one, and you point to a card, tell me one. Uh, okay, the nearest one? This? This is one in, in its position, so it is the chosen card. Okay. Remember, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, when you turn, you have a fixed point there. So that's the chosen card. If you point here, for instance, you have two in position three. three oh, yeah. So three is in position two. And the chosen card is the only fixed point that it is in position one. <laughs> Essentially, that's the idea. It's a, a, a card trick invented by Bob Hammer. And, well, what I do is that I involve another permutation and in the end, I deal the cards in this position, but only for making it more confused in order to, to, to have the magic. But the idea, the mathematical idea is just keeping one transposition there. Okay. More? The first time you did it, you did four times, yeah. and then you started by dealing the card in the middle. It's always, I always use four, seven, seven. or ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, one modulus three in, in, in mathematics. And you deal the first card in the middle. And I deal the first card in the middle, later to the right, and later to the left. Okay. That's, well, but you can, if you like the, the, the trick, uh, you can invent your own dealing. Yeah. But the mathematical idea is what I, I, I just explained. More things? Perhaps uh, you're interested on the, on the rope and, and ring trick. That I, I like, that's another of my favorite tricks. And it's, 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 I, I have, it's here. Well, the fact is, I, I think it's better not explaining it. <laughs> no, no, not because of the magic, but because of the of the puzzle. This is Pacioli wrote this as a mathematical puzzle, and he wanted that people thought on on it, on the solution. What happens, uh, uh, in fact, is uh, where is where is where is uh, you 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 were involved with that. Okay, so please give me your both thumbs. One and the other, yeah, this and this, okay? Well, we'll put in this position. The idea is uh, the movement I make is this one, okay? I put rope here, and what's happening? If I release, the rope goes. So, the, the main idea is that I take out the rope, move the ring, so the ring is outside, and I put rope again. In the end, it, it, it seems that, any, uh, that nothing happened, but in fact happened two things. There, three. The rope went, the ring went, and the rope came uh, inside again. 
Okay, thank you very much. And that are the ideas. Uh, the math, the math under magic uh, are well of different kind of types. For instance, concerning numbers, concerning the topology, but always. Uh, I think it's very good having magic to teach maths. You can develop different uh, parts of the brain and also dealing with, uh, with puzzles like, uh, well, the, the friends are uh, talking or, or presenting things now. And I, I like also to, to show you another of my favorite uh, puzzles or magic tricks. Well, it's necessary to have a paper with the sides of different uh, color or, or, or sides. Yes, if you can come, 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 come here. And so you, you can also begin with your, your part now. Well, what I did is this is a, a piece of paper. One side is yellow, the other is orange. And the idea is to change the colors, OK? Well, I'll do it quickly. It's being recorded so you can track it, but uh, it's just, uh, it's better not giving the solution, just in case of emergency, okay? <laughs> For you, a fond of uh, mathematics, you prefer, I'm sure you prefer uh, thinking it on your own. Well, the, the idea is folding in this way. Oh, and you swap the colors. Thanks. So this is just a puzzle. You can think on it. Um, thank you very much. You have any uh, any another question? Yeah. No. 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 I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you, or just now. I, I think it's better. You have to think on it, and later I'll tell you. I promise. No, but can you just do it again? Just show. Just yeah. Do you want? Okay. So this. You don't explain, just do it again. <laughs> wow. That's okay. Well, there are more more things, more puzzles, more magic. They are also related. And I don't know if you have more questions. No. Okay, so that's your turn. Okay, well, for the last I have here two puzzles stuff also. They are uh, perhaps you all of you know this one. This is a very old one. Do you know? Is how to build a tetrahedron with these two pieces. How to build? Yeah. Here, this. Here I have a tetrahedron, a, a pyramid, with these two pieces, OK? So that's the try. And this is an elaborated version of, of that. It's not easy at all. But uh, this is uh, made with uh, a solid printer. And, well, it's a new version of the same puzzle. You saw uh, this was a cube. Well, perhaps you, you, you can try. You can try. So enjoy. Thank you. Thanks. Well, it's done. Yeah? Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot this. I forgot this. Yes. This is uh, another kind of magic trick. Well, uh, perhaps you have seen me uh, folding this. This is a cuboctahedron, but also it's good for magic. Uh, usually I finish with two things. One of them is this, a square in the circle, but it's broken. And the other... <laughs> And the other one is this. I'll convert this cube into butterflies. <laughs> butterflies, yeah. Anyone wants to do it? Any volunteer? 
No? Should I do it by myself? Yes. yes. 